Since the 1940s, this has been Calaveras High's logo, and this has been its mascot. There was a, a, a fairly large population of Native Americans here, and it was at that time not meant to be a negative term. But last year, Principal Michael Merrill received word a new law, AB 30, banned the mascot, and the school had about a year to change the name. I don't like to be told what to do. Um, I'm one of those. However, I will follow the law. The school gave community members an opportunity to vote on four different names, the Reds, the Red Hawks, the Skulls, and no name at all, which is what they went with. Some of the logos that were selected for the other mascots were more of a caricature, and that's something that we've always really tried to shy away from. The school will now be known as just Calaveras High. No mascot, but the logo will stay the same. I think it's a beautiful logo, and you know that I think that's what needed to be done. Students agree. They show us the history, and I love their history. I love the headdresses, I love everything. For Noah Press, it's a chance to keep the identity he's had his whole high school career going into his senior year. I think it's more of the feeling and the image, having it like having it on there for our sports and everything else and is more of like than just the word. The school will now need to remove every reference, losing a mascot but keeping its identity. We're proud of our, our logo. We want to maintain that. It's always going to be a dignified approach for us, but we are Calaveras High School now. According to the law, Calaveras High has until 2017 to make the name change. However, they're going to do things ahead of schedule. The mascot will be gone by the start of next school year. 